Normally my films are highly edited looks at reality. Here is a more on the ground look at how things unfold as we fight to stop the dolphin slaughter in Japan. This is the place where uh, I shot the video footage from in 2001 of the slaughter of the pilot whales. We were shooting down into the bay in a driving rain um, and they were killing the, the pilot whales on the beach and it was after that, uh, or actually while we were doing it, that uh, a group of fishermen came up uh, with some poles and uh, other instruments and threatened us, kind of took us into illegal custody for a little while. Um, today, this viewpoint is uh, blocked off, um, as are many of the other viewpoints blocked off. <laughs> The dolphin hunters hate us no less today, and as we move around Taiji, we are constantly confronted by angry men. And some members of his, the union, the group, came up with sticks and, and with a hard hat, and they were attacking us. They hit us with their sticks. They threatened to kill us. Fast as I can. Eventually, the word comes that boats have massed to drive dolphins into the bay. And we should be able to see even closer. Yes, there's virtually no doubt what they're doing. I'm moving through the back streets of Taiji on my way downtown. The boats reverse direction and headed back towards the main bay where we're accustomed to having them. Now I can clearly hear the poles, the oikomi poles that they're banging, driving the dolphins ahead of them. The boats have turned around again. I would say that what's going on is that they are having a problem keeping these dolphins in front of them. The dolphin hunters are driving a group of dolphins which look to me by their dorsal fins to be Rizzo dolphins. The Japanese man beside us has said they're Hanagondo, which is Rizzo's dolphins. Now they've lost these dolphins several times. They've had to reverse course. They've actually chased them all the way down the bay, brought them back, he brought them back here. They're moving hard. Where's the pod? Right here to the left. They just these two boats here. There's like 10 of them. They all got their poles in. This is, the, this is the beginning of what is going to be a really excruciating and gruesome period of time, which most likely, if they're successful in bringing the dolphins in, will culminate tomorrow morning with the death of these dolphins. Well, they've got them inside the net. Dolphins are doomed. I can only imagine what these dolphins must be feeling after having been driven this far and now finding themselves for the first time in their existence walled off from the ocean. And they'll be killed in that little bay over there, which looks like a little V notch, but it goes in. Uh, quite a ways. They'll be driven in there. They'll be killed essentially beyond the view of our lens. The police have come into an agreement with the fishermen and they have cordoned off all of the pathways that we used to use to, uh, to, to get much closer shots of this kind of activity. It's quarter to five in the morning. We're headed to the head of Harakajiri Bay. We expect very soon to see the slaughter of the Rizzo's dolphins that were taken last night. There's no describing my feeling, Hardy. It's, it's awaiting death, and none of us slept. There's no sleeping here. It's, you know, trying to suppress your emotions that are at the brink of just overflowing with sadness. 
this light has finally arrived and we can see the dorsal fins of the captured grizzly dolphins. I can't tell you how many times I've been to this grim place and one of the frightening things about it is that every time I come there's a new bunch of dolphins here. The idea that this dolphin has been uh, just recently separated from its pod with the rest of the rest of its fellows of which have been massacred. I'm used to being in the wild with these animals when they're free and happy and with their own society and willing to interact and play with me. This is heartbreaking. Hi, buddy. This is a grave made for a baby dolphin that died here at the Taiji Whale Museum. Dolphin calves are taken from their mothers. The mothers are murdered. Aquarium workers then try to save the babies. They might better have left their mothers alive and the pod free in the sea. Another use for the dolphins taken from the drive hunts is as participants in what is bizarrely called a dolphin watch. Instead of watching dolphins in the wild, these people watch captive dolphins performing tricks for them. These dolphins also participate in swim with dolphin programs. Soon these dolphins will again be separated and shipped to countries all over Asia to meet the huge demand for captive dolphins.